morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, a short TA update on Monday, the 25th of July. Let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what is happening. Now, the first chart, yes, do you talk, by the way, love my plan B? This is the Hodl 3, just can see. Hodl 3, the newest version will be publicly available when Bitcoin crosses uh, 50k, I think. So, we need to wait a little bit, but let's quickly jump in the chart to see how long we need to wait for that over here. Yes, the first chart, guys. This chart is the four hour chart. As you can see, the Bam Bam indicator is indicating with the green and red flags when to buy them and to sell. This is on the four hour. It gave a red flag over there. And why? Because we saw one, two, three, four, five red triangles, which means five times we tried to break the yellow stepping line. We couldn't break the yellow stepping line. So that followed by a red flag. And then bam, we got that dumb to the bottom of that Bollinger Band, that blue line. And there is a lot of yellowish and bluish this this turns green again and the blue line crosses up the white line here in the bottom again then we can expect another green flag along on the four hour okay now on the day channel we are going to zoom out a little bit we're going to see that i said yeah we formed a w you know we call that over here um, and we said this could be the ceiling or we break it and we go to that green line we hit exactly the resistance of that yellow line over there, guys. And now we came down to that green line. We are finding support on that thin green line now. How long? That is the question. Are we going to go up and try it again? That's the question. Or are we going to fall back down to the 19k, 20k level again? A lot of questions. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, if we look to the weekly, we can see something really cool. On the weekly, again, we tried to break that 200 weekly moving average. And we came above it with that green candle, but we closed down below it. And now again, the candle is fighting against that 200 weekly moving average at 22,700. And that is the region and line we need to break. A very important line to break to become very positive again. The Bam Bam indicator did call along already. So I already bought in because I believe at the end we will break that line. And this area we are in now should have been the buying bottom opportunity of your lifetime now um, if we zoom more out to the monthly we can see even more interesting stuff guys on the monthly chart we can see that the 12 monthly moving average that's that orange line is crossing the blue line the 21 moving average that did happen a few times before in history and every time when it happened in history that those two lines crossed each other we saw a bottom like we are going to draw exactly where it was. For example, here, they crossed. The bottom was in. You can see it over there. Now, do we have any other crossings? Here, they crossed. Check, the bottom was in. So, now, they are about to cross. Does it mean that the bottom is in? Very important chart. I think that we could already have bottomed out at 17,600. And yes, I know a lot of people are shouting that we will go lower and lower and lower, but I just don't see it when I look at this chart. Also, when I look at this chart over here, uh, this is the 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average. This is the three day chart. And on the three day chart, we can also see that every time that we had that cross of the 50 uh, over the 200 over here, from that moment, we dropped almost 50% to the bottom. And here again, from that moment, we dropped almost 50% to the bottom, more than 50%, and here also more than 50%, I need to say. And here we had the cross, and again, we dropped more than 50% to even may maybe the bottom. There's a lot of charts and indicators telling us that the bottom is almost in. So there's one really cool video that I will link down below. It's not mine video, it's a video of a guy that I respect really when it comes to a uh, longer term charts analyze and that one is also showing like six indicators that we have been bottoming out now let's quickly jump into some other real cool charts before i do that guys please always remember that uh, on the bitcoinfamily.com you will find all our products you'll find a liquidity provider product you will find the bam bam classic the gt guard the indicator packages our shop with all the t-shirts everything you will find on the bitcoinfamily.com 
also guys when you want to trade then do use the link down below my video down below the video you can see the trades for example of bybit we get a four thousand one hundred dollar bonus i think it's four thousand eight hundred dollars by now a 30 percent fee discount you get access to the free bybit launch, uh, launchpad and there is many other exchanges many other links if you want to use the exchanges click the links here for example digital normal insurance this is about being insured in a cheap way but full coverage for digital nomads like safetywing.com this is the first one guys this is the uh, chart that shows you the peak to the peak now from peak to peak how many years etc it took a uh, really interesting chart if we can look at it the purple line that's uh, 2011 2013 that took a little bit more than two years now we took take a look at the bluish lines that's a 2017 peak 2013 to 2017 that took four years the red line took three years and something now we have had the peak over here now we are looking for the bottom over there uh, how long can it take for the next peak it can take between one year no, from this moment one more year two more years or even three more years before we peak again guys does it mean we will be boring movements now during the next couple of years no because we can see in between we had another peak that was at 14k peak you know that we saw in 2019 so we could be copying that move all the way up bam to these levels then again coming down a little bit and then again going up in that uh, peak after the halving now if we look at the Maya multiple we can see that we should have been bottoming out because every time when the Maya multiple was in the bluish area and then came out of the bluish area and we already seen the bottom and we were going up again and that's exactly what we see here here beautiful bottom we came in and then we came out and after that when we came out the price went up here we came in when we got out we had the bottom and the price went up here we came in massively now at the moment if we zoom in we see that we can go uh, we are going out a little bit so also indicating we saw the bottom we are going to hunt for that blue black line there thirty-four thousand again i know it is not going to happen tomorrow but this is what the charts tell us Yo, I can only share what the charts are telling me. Now, we have this one over here. That one is from um, Plan B, of course. This is the uh, RSI chart of Plan B. If you look at this one, um, I need to conclude the same. Every time, when we see these huge peaks over here, we come here down, down there, we see the yellow line crossing the pinkish line. So that's the relative strength index crossing the realized moving average. And then after we go up again, the price is reversing here as well that was the bottom and the price after that reversed here as well i think this is the bottom and the price will reserve reverse here as well we had the bottom so also this chart we are crossing back over the pinkish line every time when we did that the price reversed to the upside now then we have this one the bitcoin cycles this one is created by the rational root guys very interesting chart yes it's a lot of charts but i didn't make charts a ta video for like five days so i need to do a lot of charting now eh? and so also here the drop below the realized price at the amount of days you can see here exactly how many days uh, we were down below that realized price and we are above it again and we can also see that every time when we come above it what happens again with uh, the price so how long can it take till we see higher levels again it can take if we look at this for example here uh, 160 to 350 days it's just what the charts show us guys you just pause the video if you want to analyze the charts a little bit more if you want to see the charts full then go to our discord server there i will upload all these charts in our discord server now do we have many more charts yes of course we have this one of course the rainbow chart uh, which is a very beautiful chart uh, not only because of the colors but also because of the information that it's giving us uh, the rainbow chart that was the one that was telling you ah, you should be buying in that blue area i've been sharing this every time again in these blue areas that's like a fire sale do you remember that i made the video fire sale that was when we entered the bluish area and we entered the bluish area and we entered the bluish area and we entered the bluish area this is the fire sale this is the moment that we go out of the blue area again into the greenish areas which is still a buy signal but this was the fire sale. The dark green is the buy signal. And that light green, you should be accumulating as hell. So be aware. The halving is over here in 2024. 
mostly during that halving we are moving into the next bull run again like you can see in that halving we are moving into the next bull run so from here we could be moving into the next bull run but in between we could see this move but in between we could see that move so but in between we could see a move here and then come back again to that level before going into the halving but if we come back to the level we will be a bit higher than we are now maybe around 40k already now the last chart of the day guys bam that's the uh, only thing that i want to give you the information um, on which companies already have bitcoin as a treasury and that is very important to understand that it's not some multi-level marketing scheme of something that people are trying to tell you or just used by criminals it's used by the biggest companies in the world guys and that's what we see on this chart it's used by micro strategy and you can see their market cap you can see exactly how much today's value is you can see if they are loss or in uh, profit but the most important part is you can see that they hold all huddle huddle 129,698 bitcoins you can see that tesla is holding 10,000 bitcoins at least i don't know if the chart is updated because they sold a little bit <laughs> core scientific 8,000 bitcoins marathon digital holdings 8,000 bitcoins square 8,000 bitcoins hut 8 mining corp 7,000 so you can see all of them here coinbase galaxy all of these treasuries that hold bitcoin just check it how cool this is a lot of bitcoins now that was really everything for today i think yes bam that was everything for today i hope you really enjoyed that video it was a lot of ta information uh, thank you for watching if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell, and leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about the bottom do you think we bottom out i believe that the bottom is in i don't believe 12k i don't believe 13k i believe that the bottom is in and i believe that from this beautiful place here in Lagos, where you have a beautiful sea view, of course, but I'm not sharing it with you because you need to be compositive. You need to start to believe plan B again. The bottom is in and we are going up. Now, that's all, guys. And I will do a live today again when I open the bar. That will be in one hour. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow or later today again during the live.